Hi, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, um, my name is Angel Laura. I live in Bethlehem Township, Pennsylvania with my husband and our youngest son, who's the youngest of five. Um, I'm currently a housewife. I cannot work because I have electromagnetic sensitivity, um, which I've had since they installed smart meters in our neighborhood about a year and a half ago. Okay, can you tell me about your health before they installed the meters? I, I was fine, I was normal. I did normal people things. I was on the computer and the cell phone like everybody else. Um, I was active physically, I um, outdoors, camping, hiking. I hiked Mount Katahdin, that's one of my proudest accomplishments. Um, I took my kids places, I took my son to his activities, I went to visit my friends and our older children who, who have their own places. Um, I was at all the music festivals, shopping, uh, I used to go into New York City, that was one of my favorite things for my daughter and I to do. Um, just a normal, active, middle-aged woman. Great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. But things have really changed and um, can you tell us a little bit about how things are going now? Um, what your daily routine is like, how, um, why don't you start with that? Okay. Um, I wear Faraday fabric 24 seven, except when I'm getting a shower, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. to help block the electromagnetic frequencies. So this is what I wear to bed. Um, this is what I wear when I wake up. This is what I wear when I exercise. This is what I wear when I cook. This is what I wear when I clean every day, every night. Um, and when I go out, I put the extra hat on if I, if I go anywhere. Um, I, I can't work, so um, I get up and right now I'm working on my brief. Um, we have everything hardwired in the house, so I'm able to go on the computer for about an hour. I'm working on my, my legal brief um, in my struggle to keep a smart meter off our house. Um, and then I go down to the ba basement and I sew and I crochet all day. Um, and then I'll come up and I'll make dinner and then I go back down to the basement and I sew and I crochet. And I try to clean my house once a week. I can't go to the grocery store. I can't go to any public place. I can't take my son to his activities. I can't visit my friends. I can't visit our older children. I can barely talk on the phone. I'm so sorry. Um, my life is completely different in every aspect. I cry. Okay. And you were here today to try to see if you could tolerate being in a home where the smart meter was moved. And that was why you weren't wearing your fabric. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to tell everybody why, you know, what your goals are for a new house and hope that maybe some of the legislators might see this and... Uh, yeah, um, I, if, for right now, for in our Bethlehem house, um, we don't have the smart meter because I filed a formal complaint and now we are actually at the appeal stage in Commonwealth Court of Pennsylvania. Um, where my daughter lives, they did sneak a smart meter in there. Um, and I went there and I couldn't even stay for an hour. It was terrible. I felt, I mean... Terrible dizziness, headaches, pressure in my head, nausea, fatigue. I was down and out for two days after visiting my daughter for one hour. Um, so I came here to see if I could even possibly live at a house with the smart meter once it's like this house, the smart meter is moved a distance from the house, and there's um, special shielding in the house and things to take care of the dirty electricity. If I can't be in a house like this. We have to leave the state um, because if I lose my legal battle, they'll put a smart meter on my house. Um, I was hoping we could move to a more rural area and do the shielding like has been done here, but if I can't tolerate it here, then we will be leaving Pennsylvania very mm -hmm. shortly. <laughs> and this is your, your home state, isn't it? Where I lived here my whole life. I lived in Lehigh Valley for 30 years. I've lived in my current house for 15 years. Right. And your family is from Port Clinton? My family is from Schuylkill County area. All our, our family now really is um, in the Bethlehem Lehigh Valley area. All our children are within 45 minutes. Um, if we leave, we'll be separating the youngest sibling from his brother and 
sisters will be leaving my elderly in-laws who are not in good health. My husband will have to find another job. <laughs> Everything will change if all I need is for them not to say I don't need a smart meter on my house. That's all I need. I need an, an analog meter. I was fine with the analog meter. Um, even at Port Clinton because it's a little more rural. I think if it's a rural place and an analog meter, I'd be fine. But where we live now, it's too populated. I, even though we don't have them, we still have our analog currently. But all I need is for somebody to say I don't have to have that smart meter and I can stay in the state and keep my family together. But without that, I don't think I could be here anymore. Can you tell me? Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. You know, you have, it's very upsetting. And if you need to, to stop, you know, just let me know. Okay. It's okay. Um, can you tell us when you are at your home in Maine, at your cabin, what's that yeah. like? What's your life like? Well, yeah, we have a cabin in Maine, totally off grid. Um, it's like five miles from anything, anything. <laughs> it's, um, and it, I'm well there. After about three days, I'm a normal person again. I can go outside. I can do physical things. I can take walks. I can, um, you know, I did. I dug a hole for. <laughs> I dug a three foot deep hole when I was there last time. I, I can do things. I can even when I go into town. I can even go to a store. Um, I can go to a restaurant. I can be around people. It's amazing it, because they don't have the smart meters up there. They're optional, so they're very few and far between. I'm, I'm like a normal person. It, it's My husband says he gets his wife back when I go there. Okay. How about your doctor? Tell me a little bit about your doctor and what your doctor's been able to do and when the last time you saw your doctor was. Um, I, did, I went to my doctor uh, probably about two, three months after this all started and I, my symptoms were mostly the ringing in the ears and headaches and insomnia. And um, he diagnosed me with the electromagnetic sensitivity. Um, since then I've gotten much, much worse. I have terrible pain and pressure in my head. I get very jittery, nervous feeling. Um, I get heart palpitations and angina, um, irregular heartbeat. Um, I can't go to see my doctor anymore. I've tried to go into that area. I can't even go into the area. I can't go to a public building. There's no way I can see my doctor. I went to see the dentist for 10 minutes and I was sick for two days. I can't go to see my physician and there's really no treatment that he can offer me at this, at this time. There's just nothing they know what to do for me, for people like me. All right. Is there anything else that, that you want people to know about your condition and about smart meters in Pennsylvania and elsewhere? Yeah. Uh, this is just the beginning. I am one of a few people that are getting affected right now. But we're only the first. We have no idea what these things will do in the long run. There's been a lot of questions. There's been no None, no scientific studies that have proven them safe, none whatsoever. Um, it's only gonna get worse. The more technology that you put out there, the more people are gonna get sick. And the long-term effects, nobody knows. Our children, our grandchildren, we don't know what we're doing to them. So even if you're not feeling it right now, there are people out there like me that need help and they're affected by it. But you may be feeling it a year from now, five years from now, your kids may be suffering from it, from their health later on. We don't know. We can't use things that we don't know what they can do. Nobody knew that we were gonna end up like this. They just wanted better, faster internet. They didn't know it was gonna ruin lives and health and, and tear families apart. Ten, five, 10 years from now, we don't know where we're going to be if we keep going at this pace. We, we cannot put technology out there when we don't know the effects of it. It's not proven safe. Okay. Well, we're going to try to 
to work to try to get people choice, electric meter choice in Pennsylvania. Um, do you have any thoughts to offer? I mean, I think you've touched on some of the coming technologies with the pending legislation that's the legislators are considering House Bill 1400 and the other 5G related bills. Um, maybe you could speak a little bit about your thoughts on having white spaces. I guess you already really have, but if you want to say anything else about, you know, designated areas. Uh, that would be, we, yeah, 5G would be worse than the smart meters. I go hide in my basement now with my Faraday fabric. I have a tent made of Faraday fabric that I go in when I feel sick. Um, with 5G, there would be nowhere for people to hide. There's nowhere for people like me to go. If they put a smart meter on my house in the middle of winter, where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? We need places that are, that where this technology, this electromagnetic frequencies and radio frequencies can't damage us. So at least people like me have a safe place to go. Um, there's other people out there that are, they're living on the streets and living in a tent and you know, because there's literally no place for us to go, but we need to have a place. There, there has to be one place in the state of Pennsylvania that they can find to put, that, to make safe. Maybe hopefully more than one, hopefully several places spaced out so people like me can go somewhere and, and maybe even live there and have a normal life. That would be great. And to be near your family. Yeah. To have a safe shelter and be near your family. Yeah. That well, we hope so too. And um, is there anything else? Okay. Well, thank you so much for, for sharing your, your experience. And I hope that we can all work for positive change to better support people like you so that we don't need to do any more of these. Yeah. Nobody else needs to be sick. No. All right. Thank you very much.